<laughs> I think some things can't be said on yeah. camera lah. I think the speed limit can be increased <laughs> just by a bit, you know. Yeah. Four yeah. <laughs> oh, Andrew, your house is over there. Yeah, just that direction. Yeah. Not too Actually, far. looking at JB over the past two years, nothing really has changed. Two years, no lah. What will change in two years? Yeah. I think we change in two years. In the KFC there, I used to bring my kid there mm -hmm. on random morning drives, just park there and uh, look at the sea. It'd be nice like, to drive through G GB uh, city centre. When it's empty, old. right? Yeah, when it's empty. <laughs> and I think last time you would see this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially today is Sunday. That's the dream, that's the dream crossway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dream crossway to cross. To Maybe we are stuck in over there. <laughs> yeah. The one where you see it's like you feel like you struck Toto. Hi guys, uh, my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm from JB, so not too far from here. And uh, I'm a doctor here in Singapore. <clears throat> uh, hi guys, I'm YC. Um, I'm also from JB. So, uh, yeah, same as Andrew, and I'm also a doctor. Hi guys, I'm Sky. I'm from Krang. Uh, I'm doing sales in Singapore. So we know each other. Hmm. Okay. From the R34 group. Yeah. And that was in uh, 2016. Yeah. So we've known each other for five years. Yeah, five years. Yeah. Like how were you guys feeling being stuck here for the last one year, two years? I think, uh, I know YC and I, I, mean YC and I haven't been able to travel at all. Uh, partly, of course, due to the border closures, but also because uh, of the additional restrictions. Yeah. Like, on uh, healthcare workers, so uh, it's been, I guess it's been difficult. I don't know about, about you. Yeah, I, I think the one word to sum it all up is uh, sien. Yeah. Getting stuck here, you know, and uh, not being able to see our parents. I think Sky's been a bit more lucky. He's gone yeah. back, I think he's I, gone back a couple of times. Yeah, I, I back to Malaysia due to work for two times. Hmm. Last August and last December. So. My parents, uh. Yeah. Because like before this, we would go back at least uh, for me about once a month. Uh, once or twice a month. Yeah, once or twice a month. I, almost every week. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what's the first thing you will do in Malaysia? Uh, I mean, once you're able to really go back and enjoy, what is the first thing you guys would want to do? Or what do you, what's the first thing you guys think about? I think we're all going to have the same answer for that one. Yeah. Right? yeah. Visit the parents first. Uh, I think yeah. it's visit yeah. our family first. Family. Parents. Have a good meal with them, probably. Yeah, yes. for sure. Yeah. How would you guys say, how different is it? Like, driving in Malaysia versus driving here? <laughs> <laughs> I think some things can't be said on yeah. camera. Yeah. Lah. yeah. But I think for me, the, the main difference is that, uh, you know, you get this much more sense of freedom in, uh, in Malaysia. Lah. Yeah, mainly because it's bigger. Yeah. Uh, I think the distances that we travel in Malaysia are far larger than those in Singapore. So you do see a change in the scenery as you go from you know the city centres to the towns and then to the countryside. It's something that you can't really get in Singapore. Yeah. I, like before COVID, I, I think we have a like Mersing Drive. Yeah. Hello. yeah. We used to have drives to yeah. all the country. Yeah. Score country areas lah. Yeah. All the different yeah. districts lah, right? Mm. Yeah. Like, like my job, uh, in fact, uh, I'm taking care of Malaysia also. Like before COVID, I was stationed in Malaysia. So I can be morning in Singapore. Then, maybe afternoon I'm in Penang already. So it's that kind of, uh, or Ipoh. So I enjoy driving also. Yeah. Okay guys, so shall we go for a drive? Jump, let's, let's go. go. Let's go.
driving, when it comes to cars. I think the speed limit can be increased <laughs> just by a bit, you know, <laughs> from 90 to 110. <laughs> yeah. Now these cars are, they're all, you know, I, I, I don't think the speed limit has ever been increased. Um, cars now are safer. Yeah. There's no reason why the speed limit shouldn't be increased, I feel, mm. uh, at least just by a little bit. Or even just a spot for car lovers to hang on. Yeah, yeah. Because I think... Or just a drag strip now. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Drag strip is not going to take up much, much space, right? Yeah. Maybe. So I think if, you, if you're a car enthusiast and then you've modified your car, it sort of carries a certain negative image, uh, especially in Singapore. It's, yeah. You know, those big chairs. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit of a shame. Uh. It's become like antisocial. Yeah, right? correct. Yeah. You, you are labelled in a negative manner. I think, you know, it's not that, it's not that negative in Malaysia. I guess one of the, that's one of the things that could change uh, about mm. car yeah. culture in Singapore. Yeah. The perception, uh, I yeah. guess. So what can Malaysia learn from Singapore? <laughs> mm, I think the, in, in, with regards to driving and stuff like that, I think uh, the infrastructure could be could be improved in in Malaysia. I see the road conditions. The road conditions, like, uh, you know, agree. there's so much more. There's, there's so much more potential to be, you know, mm. much much better. Yeah. Uh, Maybe at Chaffee Light also. Yeah, you know, simple things like that. Yeah. yeah. I think that one could be majorly improved. Now. Yeah. Oh. We have four drivers. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. You can continue. Hmm. I think just being a bit more, making things a bit more organized. Now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Malaysia. sometimes the car meets in Malaysia can also get a bit chaotic. Huh? Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I remember that one car meet we went to. Yeah. Uh, the one in the JB Underground. Yeah. In the car park. Yeah. It was all filled with uh, exhaust fumes. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't very, wasn't very nice lah. But you know, there's a lot more potential for things to be better. I think. Yeah, I, I car think meets. the car scene there, uh, you know, if they were a bit more organized, then actually it'd be quite. Yeah, because the car scene is much yeah. more diverse. If it, if only it could be like. Because it has potential to be like the car scene in UK, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. Remember, yeah. the UK car scene is amazing. Uh. There's, yeah. so, there's so many things to do, well planned. Some yeah. of my best times in the UK, right? I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Malaysia has that potential. Yeah. Thanks, Horizon Drivers Club, for having us tonight. Uh, it was nice to be able to share some of our thoughts uh, about being car lovers in Singapore, especially during this uh, difficult time. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.